All right. Good morning, everyone. I would like to start by saying it is an honor to be standing here in front of you in this beautiful new courthouse. My name is Kim Turlitz Vaughn and I'm your clerk of court. And it's my privilege and pleasure to have you here with us today. We're glad that you're here to participate and share in the dedication of the new Plaquemines Parish Courthouse. Over 17 years later, after the courthouse fire on January 12th of 2002, we have finally returned home. Today we celebrate. We celebrate the long end to a journey. We celebrate that we have overcome many challenges from the fire to several hurricanes and many other obstacles. The 25th Judicial District Court and supporting offices continue to serve the public at the annex buildings and also other facilities throughout the parish. And today we celebrate our return home. The ceremony today will be followed by an official ribbon cutting outside down the stairs and the officials will be located on the top floor. And then also we'll have a reception following the ribbon cutting. At this time, again, I'd like to thank you for being here and we'll go ahead and get started. I would like at this time to call upon for our invocation, Reverend Brandon K. Cross. He is the pastor from the Bethlehem African Judea Missionary Baptist Church. Let us stand. Gracious and holy, Heavenly Father, we come today on this great day, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for your blessing. We ask the blessing upon our president, Kurt Lapine, our president, our, our sheriff, Turlick. All of you are under the sound of my voice, Lord. We pray, we pray that today be a, a great day today in our community, in our parish, Lord. We come, we ask for harmony, we ask for peace, we pray for grace in our community. And as we come, Lord, we want to remind you of Romans 8 and 28. We, in all things, in all things, we, we acknowledge you, Lord, and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. And as we come, Lord, bless our council member, Representative District 1, John Bartholomew, Lord, and bless all of our communities in this parish, Lord. And these blessings we ask in your daughter, son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please remain standing as we have our presentation of colors that will be presented today by the Plaquemines Parish Office's Color Guard. And then followed by that will be our Pledge of Allegiance by the Honorable Charles Ballet, our District Attorney. Please say with me, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I now call upon a very special person, Jackson Catron, who's going to sing for us the national anthem. He is from Beltrace High School. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight o'er the ramparts we'd watch were so gallantly gleaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was 
from there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land and of the free and the home of the free. You may be seated. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge the parish officials and dignitaries that are joining us today. Unfortunately, Deputy Port Director Paul Matthews was unable to be here today. So at this time, I'd like to recognize, first and foremost, our judges. We have our Honorable Kevin D. Connor, our Chief Judge for the 25th Judicial Court. <laughs> Unfortunately, our other current judge, Michael Clement, is upstairs holding court right now, so he may be able to join us a little bit later. So Michael D. Clement is the second judge here, the 25th Judicial Court. We have our Honorable Charles Ballet, the District Attorney. I think you know who I am, your clerk of court, Kim Turlich Vaughn. Our honorable sheriff, Jerry Turlich. The honorable Belinda Hazel, our assessor. Our parish president, Mr. Kirk Lapine. Everyone's East Bank favorite councilman, Mr. John Bartholomew, District One. Councilman and Chair Bo Black, District 2. <laughs> Councilman Corey Albro, District 3. <laughs> Councilman Dr. Stuart Gooey, District 4. <laughs> Councilman Benny Roussel, District 5. <laughs> Councilwoman Trudy Newberry, District 6. <laughs> Our Councilman Colton LaFrance, District 7. Councilman Richie Blink, District 8. And Councilman Mark Habo Konovich, District 9. We have Honorable Davey Nakan Jr., our Justice of the Peace for Ward 6. His lovely wife, Debbie Nakan, Constable for Ward 6. Honorable Janice Andre, the Justice of Peace for Ward 5. Honorable Lauren Landry, the Justice of Peace for Ward 8. <laughs> Mr. Paul Barrios, the Constable for Ward 7. <laughs> Mr. Chad Ancalor, Justice of the Peace for Ward 3, the Honorable. <laughs> Our state officials who were able to join us is the Honorable Chris Leopold, State Representative, District 105. We also have our Honorable Justice John Weimer, Louisiana Supreme Court. <laughs> We're very pleased to have our Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals judges, our very own Honorable Joy Cossage Lebrano, who was a former 25th JDC judge. We have Honorable Daniel Dizar. And Honorable Roland Belsom. We're especially proud to have former officials of the 25th Judicial Court with us today, Judge Michael Kirby. <laughs> judge Kirby was a former councilman, the 25th JDC judge, and the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals judge. Thank you, Judge Kirby. We also have Judge Robert Lebrano. <laughs> judge Lebrano was the former 25th JDC and the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals as well. My two favorite ladies, my predecessors, Miss Sandra Morrow, former clerk of court, 
for Plaquemines Parish. And then we have Ms. Dot London, our former clerk of court for Plaquemines Parish. And last but not least, we have Ms. Audrey Trufant Salvin, who is a former councilwoman. Please forgive me if I forgot anyone, but is anyone else in the audience that I've Oh, I still, oh, that's right, Nunu is here. Wait, I'm sorry? Daryl and Turner is here from, she's one of our school board members on the East Bank, thank you. And I also would just like to take this opportunity to welcome our two visiting royalties that are here with us today. We have the Plaquemines Parish Fair and Orange Festival Queen, Blair Jones. And our newly crowned seafood queen, Miss Annabelle Piku. Thank you, ladies, for being with us. At this time, we're going to move on with the program of speakers. I'd like to call upon our Plaquemines Parish Government President, Mr. Kirk Lapine. Good morning, everyone. And welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow colleagues, distinguished guests, it is a true pleasure for me to welcome you to the home of the Plaquemines Parish Courthouse. Behind these doors lies remarkable beauty, but more than that, more than actual physical beauty, lies a symbol of enduring quality of our government and our community's commitment of restoration. After 17 years, long council meetings, and extreme battles of where we should or when rebuild this parish courthouse, we celebrate this amazing 36,000 square foot state-of-the-art complex located at the original site of the parish seat in Point Lahash, Louisiana. Without the unwavering commitment, the vote of the people, and several key players who helped in this process, current council members, parish leaders, past and present, that played an integral role in the rebirth of this courthouse from its ashes, we say thank you. Today we begin the journey, not only of the rebuilding process, we greatly appreciate the spirit and dedication exhibited by everyone in continuing to serve the public after such a significant disaster and a lengthy recovery. Everywhere around us are there traces of our history, from the architecture, to the landmarks, to the historical districts. Plaquemines Parish government will continue to invest in protecting our history and bring back to life important parts of our past. This courtroom is just that, it is a testimony, this courthouse, I'm sorry, this courthouse is a testimony of who we are and where we come from. Before we celebrated the idea, yesterday, we had the plan, and now reality. So thank you, guys. I just wanted to say a, a special thanks to a few people who made this uh, this job a, a lot easier. And I just want to recognize some of those people. And uh, uh, the architect, uh, Linfield, Juniors, and Hunter. Are some of you guys here, could you just stand for a minute? I know you. Thank you, guys, for a, a great plan. They did an awesome job on the design. We really appreciate it. Next, I'd like to thank uh, Lamora Contractors. Uh, are you here? Some of you guys in the back, stand up. I want to thank you guys and recognize you guys. And, and Spencer, I, I, I got to say a, a special thank you to you because every time we came down, you, 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 you wanted to cringe when we came down to talk to you about moving something, but thank you, Spencer. You did a great job. There's a lot of people I'd like to thank of all the uh, parish employees who helped put this together. Um, but especially, I have to uh, uh, say a, a special thank you to my PIO who put on a, a fabulous event. Thank you, Jade. A uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful event. Thank you. Uh, but most of all, I want to thank you. I want to thank the people. I want to thank the people who always came up to and said, when are we coming back? When are we going to rebuild? Well, we have. And we're here. So welcome home. Thank you. Now we'd like to hear a few remarks from Council District 1, Mr. John Bartholomew. Thank you. 
First word, we have arrived at a destination since 202 and, and the years two before several elections to determine where the county seat was going to be. At the resilience of the people, which is the power of all government, essentially is the is people. And it made it known that it will always be here in Point Lash on the east bank of the Mississippi River. So my hat and my thanks goes to the people because they stood the ground in the test of time. We have risen as the Phoenix has risen over years throughout biblical times and historical years and times. We have risen. And I like to thank Mr. Cormier when we first came back for my third time to initiate that along with the council members and also the previous council members for putting the funding in posture, even though before that we had about 14 million sitting in the gap, but some kind of way that disappeared. Whatever happened, happened. But we have a courthouse for the people. And with that saying, I second this to none. And also, Mr. Kurt Lapine came in. He was willing to do everything necessary to expedite disposition of this courthouse. So that meant the time has changed. Time has prevailed with people in the future to come. We have several things in the very next minute or so, hour or so, that we have to deal with, whether or not it's going to change the format or the structure of this black and parish government or its people. So what I say to you, be diligent, be committed, and be open-minded, and vote what is right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bartholomew. Now we'll hear from our Sheriff, Jerry Turlich. Thank you, Kim. First, I just want to say that I'm honored and humbled to be your Sheriff. Um, this building, I started my career in 1990 in Corrections right here, uh, the, uh, the building that was connected to the courthouse and rose from Corrections to Sheriff. And I got to watch this building rise from, from a fire to what it is today. So. I just want to say uh, to all our elected officials, I think working together, it, it's, we don't ever have a government uh, this unified that I have seen in my 30 years. So I think with all of us working together, I think we can accomplish a lot of things. So I tip my hat, especially to Mr. John Bartholomew. Uh, you've led the charge for this. Kirk, uh, I know it's you at the helm now and all our council members. I think if we keep pushing forward, we're gonna, we're gonna do great things. So that's, that's all I want to say, thank you. Now I'd like to introduce one of our distinguished guests, the Honorable Justice John L. Weimer, who is the Associate Justice for the Louisiana Supreme Court, District 6. Good morning. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you, Mr. President, other officials. I uh, begin by saying I consider it an honor to serve the wonderful people of Plaquemines Parish on the Louisiana Supreme Court. Although I reside in Lafourche Parish, a parish geographically similar to Plaquemines, where we say up the bayou and down the bayou, <laughs> as opposed to up the road and down the road, I have never considered myself to be a justice from Lafourche Parish, but rather a justice from all of the 12 parishes from which I was elected, including Plaquemines. This is a significant day in parish history. Not long after I was elected to the Supreme Court 17 years ago, the former courthouse tragically was destroyed by fire. My good friend, Judge Kirby, sent me photographs that evening. I worked with the judges to ensure that our system of justice remained viable and functioning. A courthouse was assembled in a warehouse and I recall visiting various community centers throughout the parish where court was being held. This demonstrated the tenacity and resiliency and dedication and devotion the people of Plaquemines Parish has to their home parish. I recall when I first invited the judges to the Supreme Court building in New Orleans to discuss how we would continue operation of the courts, I jokingly said that security required 
that all entering the Supreme Court building would be subjected to, Sheriff, a full body cavity strip search. <laughs> the late Judge Tony Ramagusa said, you promise? <laughs> and told me how much he looked forward to the experience. Some years later, that tenacity and resiliency and dedication and devotion were challenged by the floodwaters of Katrina. Again, we worked together to ensure the system of justice continued to serve the citizens. We worked together with other public officials, and Councilman Roussel was the parish president then, to provide a facility on F. Edward A. Bear Boulevard. At the dedication ceremony, I indicated the parish had been visited with challenges of biblical proportions. First a fire, then a flood. And I said all that was left was pestilence. And someone asked me, does FEMA count as pestilence? <laughs> I said, I'm not going to comment on that. They helped provide the building. As an aside, soon after Katrina, a group of fellow volunteer firemen from Thibodeau approached me about donating a fire truck to an area devastated by Katrina. Plankman's was the beneficiary of that fire truck. Sheriff, I don't know if y'all still have that in service, but uh, the last time I asked you, you did. And uh, the truck was delivered with food the firemen prepared, which included jambalaya, white beans, and bread pudding with rum sauce. We fed all of the first responders, including the police and the firemen. We fed all of the National Guardsmen present. We fed all the people in line for FEMA benefits. We still had some food remaining, so we visited the First Baptist Church of Bell Chase on Highway 23 and offered the remaining food to the Red Cross, which politely told us that they could not dispense food that they did not prepare. But the volunteer workers who were present, predominantly Baptist brothers and sisters from all over the United States, said they wanted to try, to some, try some jambalaya and white beans. And I told them that the cooks had assured me that all of the alcohol had been cooked out of the rum sauce. <laughs> but if anybody started dancing later that night, we were not responsible, which comments generated applause and laughter and goodwill from these individuals who had come from all over the country to help the people of this area. I also had the opportunity to visit Bell Chase United Methodist Church, where a building there was being utilized as a temporary medical facility. And when I asked them what they needed, they told me they were desperate for IV poles. You see, they had uh, prepared to improvise by using coat hangers affixed to the drop ceiling as IV poles. Although the medical care provided by dedicated and devoted and competent professionals was extraordinary. Those who were treated had some trepidation when they came there. But thanks to the good people of Thibodeau Regional Medical Center, IV poles and other medicine and supplies were provided. Now the quality of care did not change, but the perception of those being treated there improved. And if you're wondering how that relates to this dedication, consider this. While the quality of justice and the concern and compassion and care and dedication and devotion to our system of justice has always been appropriately and competently provided by those professionals who toil in the vineyards of justice, whether in a warehouse, a community center, or a trailer, this facility contributes to the perception of competence. Again, I cannot begin to thank you so very much for asking me to join you. May this facility appropriately serve the tenacious and resilient people of Plaquemines Parish and be a place where all the principles we hold dear, such as justice, impartiality, fairness, and the rule of law prevail and all who enter the doors be treated with dignity and respect. The saved facade outside of this building tethers this facility to the past, and this facility represents the future. 
I am confident that the judges and court personnel serving this parish will ensure that the principles that we hold dear will be fulfilled in this facility. Thank you again so much for allowing me to be with you. Thank you so much for those words. So finally, we get to the two men who are prominent here in the 25th JDC. Um, I know you all are enjoying this facility here, the, the council chambers. Please, if you get an opportunity um, so that you may not be called upon to come back um, in front of the judges, visit the judges' chambers upstairs because those are also uh, quite vision to see. So at this time, I'd like to introduce our chief judge, Judge Connor, for the 25th JDC to say a few words. All right, thank you, Ms. Vaughn, and uh, good morning. And what a great day this is, and uh, how happy I am to be here, and uh, what a wonderful occasion this is. My first impression of this building is when I came to do the first walkthrough, and uh, the elevator downstairs, they were working on it, and so I went up the first flight of stairs, the second flight of stairs, got to this level, and what you may not know, there's a whole other level above us. And to say this building is uh, high up in the air uh, is an understatement. When I look out my office, I'm actually looking over the top of a telephone pole. So they really put this thing up high. And to let you know, we are the first courthouse in case of emergency, we have drop down oxygen masks <laughs> available. Well, I'm not joking. The first day I was here, I walked by my break room. I heard singing, peeked inside. It was St. Peter and the Heavenly Choir. <laughs> in seriousness, I want to echo the nice statements made by Justice Weimer. I, I was really impressed by his uh, words, uh, which touched my heart and should touch your hearts, and also the words by President Lapine and the others. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this building because you can see for yourself how nice this building is and how well it will serve in the future. Uh, for us to give justice for all uh, in this building. What I would like to take time right now is to touch on something else that uh, needs to be talked about because often these ceremonies as elected officials, we seem to get all the praise and glory. And I will tell you that a courthouse, as nice as it is, it can't answer phones. A courthouse can't greet people. A courthouse can't direct people where to go, what to do, or help or service people. That is the employees who work for all of us, and they should be acknowledged because they are the heart and soul of the courthouse. And at this time, I'd like to acknowledge the council secretaries who work hard for their bosses on a daily basis. And if I, got, if I brought the councilmen up individually, they'll tell you exactly what they do, and their jobs are, are very difficult. I wanna thank the clerks in the clerk of court's office, the clerks of the assessor's office, the clerks for both divisions A and B, the administrators for A and B, all the employees of the DA's office, the security personnel who guard us outside the building, the sheriff's personnel who guard us inside the building, all the way to the custodians who clean up this building. Without them, this courthouse cannot operate. So in looking at this courthouse, there's a lot of people to thank, and I wanna make sure that they get the proper due. So at this time, would you please give those people a hand? And the reason I say that is because the quality of a courthouse is measured by the public's interaction with the people therein. And they are the ambassadors for this place. And when they treat people right and they treat people well, that's a reflection on all of us as their people that they answer to. And so I'm proud of the work they've done. They've done very well in the 11 years I've been here. I expect them to do very well in the future. And I want people to be proud of Plaquemines Parish and this courthouse on the East Bank. Mr. Bartholomew, I'm so happy for you, sir, because this day has finally come. And um, I know that um, he really longed for this day, so I'm happy for him that uh, this was the fruition of a lot of hard work. And as far as us being here, we actually started last Monday. We've been here for two weeks, and I want to thank everybody that's involved in this, especially President Lapine's office, the council's office. I'd like to uh, give a personal thanks to Mr. Epley and several other people involved, because I'm telling you, it was one of the smoothest transitions in starting this courthouse, I was pleasantly surprised on how small glitches and hitches we have. So thank you guys for all your work. And then finally, just on a personal note, I'm kind of humble because I was looking around. I have Justice Weimer of the Supreme Court, 
I got uh, Mr. Dysart um, and um, Judge Lebrano, also two Judge Lebranos, uh, Joy and um, uh, also Judge Kirby here as well, and uh, the four circuits here. And it's really humbling because on the level of judges you have, you got Supreme Court, you got the Court of Appeal probably here, and you got way down here where I'm at, the District Court. <laughs> so basically, me being in the same room with these guys is like a 40 watt light bulb attending a 100 watt light, 100 watt light bulb meeting. So I'm happy to see them. The bottom line here is the people in this parish make the building and the people in this parish are some of the hardest working, honest, nicest people I've ever met in my life. And I've said that before and I mean it because the majority of people that I meet are fit that category. So in conclusion, let me say God bless the people of Plaquemines Parish and may this courthouse flourish to produce justice in the future for everyone and God bless the state of Louisiana. Thank you, Judge Connor. Unfortunately, Judge Clement is still in his meetings upstairs in his court, so he will not be able to um, speak to us this afternoon, but hopefully he'll be able to join us after he's done for the celebration. Um, at this time, I'd like to call upon Father Kyle Day from Our Lady of Perpetual Health Church in Belchase to do our benediction. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have revealed your glory to all nations. You're the God of power and might, wisdom and justice. Through you, authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. May your Holy Spirit continue to bestow upon us your wisdom, your knowledge and understanding, that we may have the courage to realize your holy and perfect will. May we experience the ongoing fruits of your divine inter intervention in every endeavor we embark upon and uphold. May it receive your fullness of grace and blessing Keep us in peace, Lord, as we continue to celebrate this, this day of new beginnings to continue to realize justice and peace for all in accordance with your holy will. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, as I welcomed you to celebrate our welcoming home to the courthouse, I invite you to celebrate a little bit further as we allow the audience to exit first to go down the stairs or the elevator if you choose, but remember there's just one, to get you downstairs so that we can line up and, and take care of the ribbon cutting, the official ribbon cutting, and also to continue our celebrations with the refreshments that will be served that are compliments of our friends, Lindsay Hunter and Junius, and also the judge's offices. So please, um, if you at this time would head on downstairs so that we can get started with our ribbon cutting. And a small note to remind everyone that there is a council meeting at one o'clock here in the chambers. So we welcome anyone who would like to continue and stay for that meeting as well. Thank you very much and we appreciate all of you for attending our celebration today. <laughs>